Hey there everyone, my name is Kristen Marie. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment below where you're at in your journey. We're a growing community here of estheticians, entrepreneurs, skincare lovers, beauty students, and we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, and I'm just so thankful for every single one of you guys who has supported my channel, who shared it, watched a video, liked it, whatever you did, you were brought to this channel for a reason. And I have just been genuinely sharing my journey over the last four years, sharing the highs and the lows, tips, tricks, facials, skincare reviews, it's all covered here on this channel. So you're gonna wanna be a part of this community because like everybody in life, we go through those ups and downs sometimes and sometimes we hit plateaus and we need that pick me up and I encourage you to stay connected with me and the people in this channel. I wanna keep you inspired, keep you motivated and feeling good ultimately. So today we are doing a real talk episode. I just felt very led this week to share this information with you and I'm speaking from the heart. I've written detailed notes about how to level up in life, how to reach your greatness. I'm gonna warn you, this information is not for everybody. But of course, if you are somebody who's in that receiving frequency, if you wanna learn, you wanna grow, you wanna get uncomfortable, then make sure you continue watching this video because that's exactly what we're about to do. Finally got my hair done. Shout out to my girl, Olivia. I'll put her Instagram right here. If you're in the Bay Area, check her out. And I also have a girl in Southern California that used to do my hair here, but now she's in San Diego. But anyways, just a little shout out right there. And of course, you guys know, if you are looking for any additional resources, I offer coaching, courses, um, what else? <laughs> I feel like I offer a lot of things, but everything is linked down below for you along with discount codes, things of that nature. And so I hope everything down below is going to help only elevate you and help you grow in this journey. Of course, I've provided a free resource for you here on YouTube. So go ahead and make sure you support it by subscribing, by liking this video, sharing it with anyone you find that it might be helpful and commenting below. There's so much power in your words. There's so much power in your thoughts about yourself, about things you've been through. And so I can say truthfully that every single thing that I've had to go through has only helped me to reach this point. And I know everything I'm going through currently is gonna help me reach an even better point. And that's the kind of mindset that you need to continue to have. Life will life sometimes, and to be able to overcome those moments in life uh, will only help you to grow, will only help you to level up. The analogy that I wanna create for this video, and I promise I'll keep it short because I know I get off on my analogy sometimes, and I want you to imagine yourself as a plant, okay? I'm gonna be talking to you about the key things to keep this plant alive and keep it healthy and keep it growing because once you stop watering a plant once you start uh, not giving it sunshine and putting it in the right environment it's going to die this journey has been a constant growth and constant reevaluation. these are the steps that I do in order to get me back into that frequency and I've talked to you guys many times on this on this channel about uh, the importance of being on the right frequency, tuning that radio into the right channel in order to attract and give you the life that you're you're dreaming and hoping for. I didn't grow up being the prettiest girl. I didn't grow up with the richest parents. I was raised by a single dad. Um, my mother and my father separated when I was just three years old. So already I was off to what people would say is not a good start in life. Everybody's different, everybody's story is different, but that's what makes it beautiful. And you have to realize that, that your story makes your story beautiful in its own unique way. If you look at a plant, it has uh, no features the exact same as another plant. It might have a similar look, but if you really look into the chemicals and structure of each plant and the spots and the, you know, every plant is beautiful and unique and so are you. Nobody on this earth who has the same DNA as you. Nobody on this earth who has the same personality as your gifts as you. And you have to look at yourself with love and realize that the things that you went through brought you to this point, to this video, 
to this moment and hopefully um, this will help you to level up and reach your greatness by me sharing these things. I do believe that it is possible for you also no matter what you're going through. So let's get into those steps. Again, I had to emphasize why those things are important, why this topic is important, and why you should continue watching. If you already logged off, I'm sorry you missed out, but if you're still watching, kudos to you and it, this is gonna change your life. I know it will. Point number one, I want you to take a moment to acknowledge and to be grateful for every single thing, person, chapter, moment that you have had up to this point. Gratitude is so powerful. Love and gratitude are gonna be the two key things that I want you to remember. If you're gonna remember, take anything away from this video, it's love and gratitude. Without feeling sad, you wouldn't know what happy was and vice versa. So we have to acknowledge those feelings, but of course, not letting it drive us, not letting it dictate us. And again, because I know I'm a very emotional being, and I think we all are to an extent, um, we have to claim power over those feelings and we need to have gratitude. Number one is to exercise your mind daily. This is, this is the water that you are pouring into the plant or pouring into yourself. What it is that you're actually feeding your body, your mind. Um, and so when it comes to watering your mind, some of my favorite things to do are to listen to audiobooks. For a busy person like me, is the easiest way to get some knowledge in on a daily basis. You can put on an audiobook while you are showering, while you're driving, while you're cleaning. I mean, there's really no excuse for not uh, being able to participate in listening to an audiobook. Now, it's not just an audiobook about a non-fictional story or a fictional story or just a romance novel. No, we're talking about uh, books and podcasts that help you grow, what we call personal development. And I was introduced to that many years ago. We have to work on ourselves and we have to develop ourselves on the inside before we can attract what we want on the outside. And I'm not a religious person. I am a spiritual person. If you are a spiritual person, then you do believe in a higher power. And I know not everyone is gonna agree with that, but I do believe in a higher power and I do believe in the law of attraction. It's a very important to feed your mind every single day through audiobooks, through reading whatever scripture it is that you read because of your religious affiliation or I love listening also to YouTube videos every single day even if it's just for five minutes everybody has five minutes to listen to something I've been currently listening to the book The Power which is a sequel to the book The Secret by Rhonda Burns I believe her name is and um, again you have to have a very open mindset and frequency in order to receive the message so make sure that you're ready to hear the message that that book uh, the, the secret and the power hold and I swear to you that it will create some change and stir something inside of you. Also something to exercise daily would be meditation and visualization. I have made time to meditate in the mornings um, before I wake up my son after I get ready and I've also meditated in the shower. Uh, I'm a Pisces so I'm a water element and I find that when I'm in the shower and I'm feeling the water hit me and all of that and after I've done all my steps I kind of just let the water like run on me and I just literally take just five minutes even to visualize the things that it is that I want that um, bring me joy bring me happiness bring me good feelings there's been miraculous things that have happened for me visualizing so I do truly believe in its power and the power of vis visualization when it comes to your body your business your relationships, your family. It, it will change everything if you can implement that practice daily. And then let's talk about actual food, what you are actually feeding yourself. I've always been a big health nut and I, I do believe that feeding your body and exercising and, and all of that can definitely level you up and, and make you feel good. Acknowledging food and being grateful for it, expressing gratitude before you eat, and that way this food is gonna be nourishing to your body and talking positively about your body. I grew up with a lot of insecurity. I was overweight, I had braces, I had glasses. I was not the prettiest girl in the class. I was literally had the guys 
coming up to me asking me to talk to that girl for them. You know, I was the homie, I was a sports girl, I was a tomboy. So I did not grow up with very high self-esteem and so that has been something, an ongoing thing that I have had to continuously work on and work through. I've had people who have seen me now that don't even recognize me because that's how different I looked back in the day. And it brings a smile to my face now because I know I've had to work very hard to get there. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, achieving a certain physique is gonna make you happy. Like whatever it is that you define as beautiful and however you feel good and, and when your body's in the best place it could be for you to feel good, that is what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you need to be skinny. I'm not saying you need to do this or that. It's whatever it is for you that you feel good, that you feel healthy. And when you go to the doctors, that'll be a good telltale is when you get your blood work done and all those things, Hopefully there are things that, that are healthy and if they're not, then there needs to be some changes. And so start looking into exercising and eating right because I swear it'll translate into your external appearance. The next point I wanna make too is about self-care. I just got my hair done finally and I feel like so much better. It's so crazy what just getting your hair done makes you feel. And so whatever it is for you that makes you feel good, go do that. Some people may think of that as being selfish or whatever, um, but just know that everyone around me is taken care of, so don't worry about it, but I need to take care of me because so that others can be taken care of in the right way. And so I know that when I'm feeling good, when I'm looking good, um, I, I present a different place of positivity and power. You just glow different, I swear to you. It's, it's just like you radiate this unknown force that attracts people to you and that will translate into, like I said, your business, your sales, your income, all of that. Watering a plant is not enough, okay? Watering, just watering it is not enough. You need to place that plant in the sun or in a proper environment where it's um, it's gonna thrive and that it's receiving the right nutrients. And, and if you think about it, you don't see the sun rays hitting a plant, right? But you know all the benefits of the sun. You know all the benefits of the sun for that plant and how it's going to help it grow. It literally creates chemical change in a plant to be able to be healthy, to have a, a green glow to it, to look plump and vibrant. And so not only should you be watering yourself, but what environment are you putting yourself in? The first environment I want to point out is the internet with social media, with your phone, with like anything digital at this point. I had to really look at what it was that I was looking at on my feed. Am I looking at positive messages? And this does translate into the news, into things like the shade room, celebrity relationship issue, like just things that you might not think matter, but ask yourself anytime you listen to something, you look at something or you do something, is this pushing me forward to my greatness? And if it's not, it needs to be removed, okay? And I hate for it to sound that blunt, but it needs to be removed. And it can be something as small as the things that you're watching, that you're listening to, uh, what messages it is that you're feeding yourself on a daily basis. But then not just taking things away, but then replacing it with good things, with positive message messages. There's actual studies done where like people who look at pictures of puppies and literally increases their level of serotonin, I think that's the happy hormone, right? You literally will get a chemical reaction from looking at things that make you laugh, that make you smile. As long as a majority of what you're watching and listening to is, is again, feeding into your greatness, that's what matters. That's the tipping point, okay? Because again, we're human. You know, we can't just always be perfect all the time or also be robots. Um, but as long as a majority of what you're watching and feeding yourself is positive, that's what matters. And so filling it with more positivity. So whether it is that if you are, <laughs> I do actually follow a couple of dog pages and I love seeing puppies. Um, I love seeing children. Um, I love comedy. And I also have started following some pages of places I want to travel. And, and again, just filling my mind more with the places I want to see, the things I want to do, the people I admire and the things that make me smile and and also realizing that everything that you see maybe if you haven't intentionally looked at it the things that the world is showing you are signs that this could happen for you and so i had to go and switch my mind and not think anymore like oh well, why does that person have this or how come this is you know she's able to do that or that i had to literally train myself to tell myself wow 
thank you universe like you're showing me what's possible you're showing me that if she can do it I can do it and I hope that you watching this video and my channel and anything that I post that you can also switch your mindset to instead of saying well why her or why this or why that say wow good job because guess what if I were to look at your page I would be doing the same thing what's the reason to hate what's the reason to be envious that is literally universe telling me that that could be for me if it makes you happy do it and that that also kind of ties into the self-care thing but it's not just getting your nails done your hair, hair done or getting a surgery or whatever it is it's also just the place you're putting yourself in I enjoy I love being in nature going to places with uh, lots of joy and positivity and watching a good movie and, and just experiencing positive things whatever it is whatever hobbies it is that you enjoy that bring you uh, laughter and make you smile make you feel invigorated I just went on a jet ski in Puerto Rico and oh my gosh that feeling of just flying on the water was exactly what I needed and so fill your experiences in your life with those kinds of things in order to bring about the ultimate happiness that you could feel and when you start to experience those types of things you're able to visualize them even more even if it's you watching someone else do it and you're meditating you're visualizing that you're able to visualize it and you're then attracting it to your your life go ahead and watch one of my vlogs watch you know i just went to disneyland with my son watch that vlog visualize yourself if you're a single mom being able to take your son uh, on a work week to orange county to be in the happiest place on earth and see your kid running around and happy and and I'll admit that um, seeing him like that just made me so I mean just um, I get emotional just thinking about it because to see him smile to see him healthy um, is, is everything to me and in order to be able to reach those levels of achievement you need to think and and do things that trigger that that little uh, you know where you're like mm, like I'm gonna cry because it's so important to you filling your brain and your heart with those things on a constant basis that trigger that amount of happiness that you want to cry or you want to scream or whatever it is um, that's where you know you've reached the peak of being able to visualize and and embrace that feeling and that means that you're on that frequency and so when you're on that frequency that's what you're attracting into your life if you're feeling low and uh, 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 and trust me i get in those moods too and i'm working on it i let things bother me that just don't matter you know like it's so many dumb things i get pissed off about <laughs> and i'm glad that i'm able to laugh about it because it is so silly at the end of the day and i realize it's those little moments where i could have exuded love or patience or joy and I didn't and that automatically triggered you know that type of negative uh, feeling to also come back to me so I'm working on exuding love kindness being genuine and I think you know I'm not perfect like I said but I think overall I have always tried to exude that type of energy and I will have to say that because I was raised the way that I was um, in the church and believing in God and a higher power whatever is done to others will be done unto you it's it's the golden rule they call it because I've always tried to have that principle in my life I have overcome a lot of pain a lot of um, dark places I do highly encourage you to also ingrain that type of thinking into your own life and you will see major transformation I want you to take a moment right now and think if you were stuck in the middle of the ocean and you had no way of surviving and you were to call upon three people who would it be who do you think would come drop everything they're doing and come to your rescue if you can't even name three people that means something needs to change whoever it is that you consider in your close circle in your family your friends whoever that is that you communicate with the most in your life if you cannot call upon them in time of need if they cannot call you out on your BS when you're messing up I mean just look at everything that that person is accomplishing and doing and speaking about what are they watching what are they uh, participating in and I will say I've always kind of struggled because I get along with so many different personalities and people and people from all walks of life I have been easily influenced before 
And that's also something that I'm working through is to, to stand my own ground. And if you're also the same way and you're easily influenced uh, by others and um, then you need to be extra careful about your environment and who you surround yourself with. And it's not about, like I said, just blatantly cutting it off and being rude and mean about it. But there's a gentle way of saying, hey, you know what, I'm working on this right now. I need to do this. Like just putting your focus toward other things and showing your life as an example to that person of like, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you want to come along with me, great. Every time I'm around somebody who who exudes positivity, who's working on themselves, who's making good money, who's in shape or, you know, healthy, um, I also feel encouraged to be healthy. Like I just went and I stayed with my friend Adriana um, this past week in Orange County and like she was all on her health grind and I'm like so that motivated me to want to be on my health grind and she was looking good and I'm like yeah you know what like it, it it's um, contagious in order for you to be able to become that you have to stay connected with people who you can rely on who help you feel better who can get you in a better place and so that's why I'm saying I'm imploring you to stay connected with me here on this channel because I promise no matter what it is I'm going through I've always tried to show up I've always not quit on you guys when many times I have definitely thought about that I have definitely been on the brink of never picking up a camera again <laughs> but because I genuinely care about every single one of you guys watching this video I have continued and so stay connected with me stay connected with uh, the people in your life that are gonna bring you that type of energy and keep you on the right frequency okay, I know this video is getting long, but I'm almost done. So the next thing is writing your goals if you haven't listened to anything in this video and 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 haven't implemented and started exercising those points that I made earlier, then there's no point of you writing your goals. I'm just saying that right now. It does not matter if your goals are written down, if you are not feeling good, if you are not on the right frequency. So until you get to that point where you are on the right frequency, you're feeling good, which is why I'm filming this video now. It's taking me a little while, but because I'm actually feeling great today, I am making this video almost for myself to watch back. And that's actually, I rewatch my videos when I do need that pick me up and a reminder. And so I hope you, you save this video in your archives to rewatch if you need a pick me up, if you need encouragement. And I also encourage you to record a video of yourself like when you're feeling really good and you're like killing it um, because remember you will get there record a video of yourself talk to yourself to watch this video regularly to remind yourself to stay connected to stay positive to be on the right frequency and then this video will be even more helpful when say you are in a rut or you're going through something in life throw on this video write down your goals and as long as you do it while you feel good and great that's what it's gonna give back to you. I do have another video on my channel where I talk specifically about how to set goals and what kind of goals that you need to set and write down. So check out that video if you haven't already. Watering your plan is a continuous journey. So even though you've done it once and you have it written, of course, you know, you've, you've put it out there, but not revisiting it and reevaluating it because things change, goals change. And you, in, in order to be successful, like, they say that CEOs and entrepreneurs, they go on a quarterly basis. So that's why I say check it about every three months and there's three, no, there's four quarters in a year. And those CEOs and successful people, they already are on, well, right now we're in Q2, they're already talking about Q3. And so I've made it a point to put in my goals and to-do list things that are gonna matter in three months from now. So always be ahead, always have a plan, and the universe will bring that to you like a magnet. And the last thing that I wanna close out with is having patience and consistency. I say this all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. You do not have to be the smartest. You do not have to be the prettiest. You do not have to be the most skilled. You don't have to be the most knowledgeable even. But if you are patient and you are consistent, there's not a lot of people on this earth that can do that, okay? I have struggled being patient and consistent throughout my life, but when I started this four years ago and I opened up my business and I had that fire burning in, in me and the only, like I said, reminder, 
the only reason why I had that fire burning in me in me was because of a negative thing I was going through. It was heartbroken. I was not happy with my body. I was a single new single mother. I was broke, y'all. I literally was surviving off unemployment and I was living with my grandmother. I literally could not figure out how I was going to pay my bills that month. And then look, another negative situation, the pandemic happened. And I thought, oh my God, I got to be home. I got to do this and that. But those, both of those situations ended up turning out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. And I can truly, truly say that. But because during that time, during the pandemic, and I had extra time on my hands, I was reading books. I was spending time with my son. I was staying as possible, as positive and grounded as I could. It led me to open up my own business and start this channel and it completely transformed my life. And it doesn't mean things have been perfect since then, but because I did these steps that I really thought about for this video to, to change my circumstances, it happened. It took a lot of patience and consistency because once you start something, because it's easy to start something, but a lot of people have trouble continuing or finishing, and that is gonna be key to any any goal, any relationship, any circumstance that you want to have happen in your life. It all takes patience, love, and consistency. And I've even had to remind myself um, of that third one that I mentioned, love, because sometimes we get caught up in just um, making a lot of money or having nice things or being around certain people and having a certain status and that can consume you and not the best way sometimes. And I've always had to bring myself back to love. Um, I started this channel with love in my heart to be able to help you guys achieve your goals and dreams just the way, just like the way that I have. And yes, I have turned some of it into a business, but I'm working on trying to make things as affordable for you as I can. And that's why I've made some of the choices that I've made in the last few months, um, because I really truly have a heart for this industry, for what I do, for my clients, for my students, for every everybody in my life. Um, and I hope you see that making this video was not only for myself, but it was for you, even if it's just one person that watched this and and it changed your life. I, I really do hope and pray that um, everything gets better for you from here on out and that you save this video for the future to keep encouraging you, to keep you going um, because you're gonna need that every single day. I love you so, so much. Like you guys don't even know. I love you guys. Um, we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, y'all. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with anyone that you think will be helpful, and comment below a point, again, that hit home for you and any, your story, whatever it is that you want to give others watching this to, to water them, to give them sunshine. Stay tuned for another episode next week on Thursday. Stay safe. I love you. Bye.